Now this is uh, I N E uh, E I N E question thirteenth. Now in this question it is given that we have uh, uh, flowers of two variety, two kinds. Three flowers of first kind. So so let us represent them by A's. So we have three A's and three flowers of second type, second kind, and let us let us represent them by B's. Now using three A's and three B's, how many uh, garlands we can form that that's what we have to suppose so we have to arrange these six uh, letters where three alike and three alike are there in a circular permutation in a circle so we have to apply we have to do the circular permutation of six objects where first three are identical and last three are identical right if we had to do this in uh, linear permutation we would have done it like this there are six, six objects so it is six factorial uh, six objects there are th so six, six factorial. Now, as these three are identical, we divide by three factorial. As these three are identical, we divide by six factorial. Three factorial, right? Six total is six, so it's six factorial. First three are identical, divide by three factorial. Uh, last three are identical, divide by three factorial. This is when we were when we had to do it in circular uh, in, a, in a linear permutation, ordering of uh, 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 objects which where all are not different, right? Taken all at a time using this formula p plus q plus r factorial divided by p factorial q factorial r but we cannot apply the same logic in circular permutation it's not possible in circular permutation then how we can do it in circular permutation in circular permutation what we do uh, see we f apply the uh, fixing approach uh, and, and uh, I discussed briefly about the fixing approach in uh, this illustration number uh, I think 87 yes illustration number 87 so you can uh, go through the the video of illustration number 87 now in this question what I'll do I'll fix this element a1 right so uh, I'll order not all six of them I'll order five of them about a1 right the same way we can if we have n objects all different objects the same we would have done we have n different objects we have to arrange them in circular permutation we fix a1 or on any of the letters we fix and we rem arrange remaining about a1 and, and the answer would be n minus 1 factorial that is why number of ways to arrange things in a circular permutation is not n factorial it is n minus 1 factorial because we fix we, we arrange not taken all of them we take by n minus by taken n minus 1 by fixing one so it's n minus 1 factorial now same we funda we apply we fix a1 uh, we fix a and then we order remaining five about a and how many ways we can order it is like uh, five objects and we apply the linear permutation concept so five factorial but out of the five three b's are identical now we can apply the same logic that we discussed just before this because now it's a linear permutation we divide by three factorial and two a's are identical we divide by two factorial right but now we'll have to divide by two factorial or you can say two also because we are making uh, garlands here in garlands if you um, if you rotate this if you flip this with 180 degrees the garland remains same that is by changing the if I for example if you just take this the same situation this is if I just flip it by 180 degrees this two A's will come on this side about A this this A will come here this A will come here if I just pick it up and rotate it by 180 degree about the plane and these two B's will come here this B will come here this B will come here right so and you can see these two garlands are same the garlands are same if you uh, if you rot flip it by 90 degrees so we don't say it's a different garland it's the same garland but in this answer we have taken in this part we have taken these as two arrangements right because see in this in the why we have taken these as two arrangements because if you see this A this A on this side it is A and this side is B in this arrangement on this side of A we have B and on this side A so it's a, these two are different so that's why in this case we have different but when it's a garland thing we take these two identical we take clockwise order and anti-clockwise order identical but whereas this answer when we apply this logic it takes anti-clockwise clockwise order as different orders but we have to take them same so we divide by two factorial right so this much number of garlands we can form with three identical flowers of one type and three identical flowers of another type so you can calculate how much it would be five factorial 120 divided by 6 into 2 into 2 so 120 divided by 24 so it is 5 
it is d choice